Please give a warm welcome to our first youth speaker, Joseph. I first knew that I was born into the wrong body when I was two years old. I know it may sound odd to know such a thing so young, but I was never comfortable in my body. And when puberty hit, things got much, much worse. My name is Joseph, and I'm a 21-year-old transgender man. I never thought that I would make it to this stage in my life. At a very early age, I was dealing with things that no child should have to, and I wanted to die. On top of my gender dysphoria, I dealt with things like living with an abusive father who would stash guns and drugs in our house, seeing the way he would not only treat me, but also my mother, the divorce that followed suit. The only thing that I could ever thank my dad for is introducing me to the Mount Sinai Adolescent Health Center. He found out about the center from a coworker who also had a transgender son and recommended it to us. Apart from my dad, I'm lucky to come from a beyond supportive family. So at 13 years old, I made my first trip to the Mount Sinai Adolescent Health Center to get transgender health services. I was anxious at first. In the waiting room with my parents, I practically shook from the nerves. Then a patient walked in holding two guinea pigs and all I could think about were how cute these guinea pigs were, snuggled in the blanket. In no time, I got called in for my first session with my therapist at the time, Melissa. She put any concerns I had to rest and assured me that we were going to get me the treatment that I needed. We didn't only speak about gender treatment, but also PTSD and depression. She soon connected me with Dr. John Stever at the center. At our first meeting, I felt beyond cared for and happy that I was finally getting testosterone. That first appointment at the Mount Sinai Health, Adolescent Health Center was really the start of my life. After getting testosterone, I worked with the center to get my name changed and then to get a referral for top surgery. July 8th, 2020 is a date I will never forget because it was the day I finally felt free of the body that was holding me down for so long. When I was young, I couldn't even shower with the lights on because my body bothered me that much. But after top surgery, Lord knows I've never put a shirt on since. Other than right now, but once I get home, it's coming off. <laughs> I'm currently on the road to a hysterectomy. The Mount Sinai Adolescent Health Center didn't only help me with transgender health care, though. Through my teen years, I was incredibly impulsive. I was always angry, screaming, crying, picking fights with the people who cared about me, and jumping in and out of toxic relationships. My therapist and psychiatrist at the center helped me, but I knew something else was going on. I just didn't know what. Then when I was 19, Mr. Michael Nemhard, my rock and current therapist at the center, diagnosed me with borderline personality disorder. Thanks to this diagnosis, I was able to start dialectical behavior therapy, or DBT, which has been one of the absolute highlights of my life. DBT includes both individual therapy and group skills training, where therapists teach techniques related to mindfulness, stress tolerance, regulating emotions, and communication. I've been in DBT for almost three years, and it is one of the reasons I am the person I am today. Borderline, personal <laughs> Sorry. Borderline personality disorder is a hard disorder to live with, but DBT combined with mood stabilizers has made me feel like I have a life worth living. I love DBT so much that after I graduated from the program, I came back as a junior facilitator. I'm beyond grateful to my DBT facilitators, Gabby, Zoe, Brianna, Stacy, Tiffany, and so many others because they've truly changed my life. My friends and family tell me I'm practically a different person. Each time I come to the clinic, I feel comfortable, like I'm at home. When I meet with Mr. Michael, it's like two friends catching up. He has never given, given up on me, even when I gave up on myself. I've recommended the Mount Sinai Adolescent Health Center to every single one of my friends, and even strangers on the internet. Without this clinic, I would not be the man I am today. I thought I'd never make it past the age of 18, but here I am. I'm currently in college studying forensic psychology. The things I dealt with made me want to understand severe mental health disorders as related to criminology. I'm currently pursuing my goal of one day working at the Brooklyn or Manhattan Special Victims Unit. And thanks to the Mount Sinai Adolescent Health Center support, I'm looking forward to and excited for what the future holds. Thank you. <laughs> 